So last week I took a photography trip and the only camera I brought with me was the Nikon Z8. big thank you to Professional Photographers of America for sponsoring today's video. Join the community of over 35,000 photographers and find equipment insurance and business tools for photographers just like you and me. So one of the biggest projects I'm working on this year is a daily photo project on Instagram. I created a new account called Evan Ram Photo and I'm trying to create and share one photo every day, sometimes two photos per day because I make a photo set. But the reason I took this trip last week was to create photos for that project. And on this trip, I decided to only bring the Nikon Z8 with me because I felt like this was the prime opportunity to get acquainted with a new camera, essentially force myself to use it for a week and see what I could come up with. And after this week-long test, I have some pretty strong feelings about where this camera fits into the photography landscape in 2024. Now, throughout this video, I'm going to show behind-the-scenes footage of me making all these photos, and at the end of the video, I'll talk about a couple of them, name my favorite one, and give it a rank out of five. But before we get into this video, it's important to understand my philosophy when it comes to any type of camera or gear talk video. I like to treat these cameras like art tools, and my biggest question that I always have is, does this create good art? Is it something that inspires me? Is it something that allows me to make the best art possible and removes all the barriers that can come with equipment? So in this video, I wanna answer that question. Now, in this week of photography, I had a few observations, all of them being good. This is actually gonna be a pretty short part of the video because there's nothing really bad to say about the Z8. In terms of resolution, the images look incredible. The full frame photos look basically perfect. I love the depth of field you can get at full frame. This camera reminds me of previous Nikon cameras that I've used, namely the 810 from a few years ago. The colors look fantastic, pretty much the exact same as previous Nikon colors. They're a little bit different than cameras that I'm used to, but there's nothing positive or negative necessarily about them. They're just solid, exactly what you would want. The autofocus on the Z8 is so good. Probably the biggest improvement that I've seen from using the 810 a long time ago to now is just how perfect the autofocus was. At no point in this trip did I ever miss focus. Now, a lot of these photos were single point focus images just because of the style of the photography, but the times that I did have it on subject tracking or I had it on an autofocus where it was all auto in camera, everything worked perfect. Now, on top of that, the processing speed of this camera was great. Having a CF Express card in this camera makes writing files so fast and also you have the ability to just have so many images on your card. I think I've looked on this at one point and I had 12,000 potential photos. So getting that extra storage of CF Express is very nice. And that makes sense considering this camera has the ability to shoot at 20 frames per second in RAW, which is a feature that I never really found myself needing to use, but it is really cool that it's there. Now some other things I enjoyed about the Z8, one was the battery life throughout this week of photography. I never had to charge the battery once on one full charge. I was able to use it for a couple hours every single day, which was very nice. Also, the ergonomics of this camera are very comfortable. I don't use camera straps for the most part, and I never had a problem losing my grip on the camera or anything like that. It was very easy to carry around and didn't feel like a burden. Even with this 24 to 70 lens, I can't imagine how great this camera would feel if you were using, say, Nikon's pancake lens, which is something I'm considering getting in the future future. All in all, this performed exactly how you would expect a pro camera to perform when it comes to photo. There is not a single bad thing I can say because it doesn't do anything bad, including low light, which isn't something I necessarily tested in this particular test, but when I went out to Clayton for the first trip using the Z8, those low light images looked amazing as well. So I haven't been able to find anything that I necessarily dislike about the Z8, which isn't something that I could say about previous Nikon mirrorless cameras. One of the reasons why you never really saw me talk about the Z7 or Z6 on this channel was because I never felt like those cameras were were Nikon returning to their pro form. And that is why, personally, I think this is one of the best photography cameras of 2024. But before I get into that in more detail, I want to thank today's sponsor, Professional Photographers of America. Professional Photographers of America, also known as PPA, gives me peace of mind when I'm traveling with expensive camera equipment like this Nikon Z8, because as a member of PPA, I have up to $15,000 of gear insurance at a low monthly price. PPA also offers full gear replacement options with a flat $350 deductible, as well 
well as data recovery services, which if you're someone like me who travels with mobile Lacey drives, they're not the most reliable. So it's very nice to know that if something happens, you have that covered as a member of PPA. On top of that, PPA offers great business resources like model releases and cancellation letters. So you can check out all the benefits of a PPA membership for yourself by going to the first link in the description on today's video, and they are hooking up the channel with a very special offer if you want to join and get all the benefits of Professional Photographers of America. Whether you're just starting out or you're looking to take your photography business to the next level, Professional Photographers of America is where you need to be. Now, the reason why this Nikon Z8 is, in my opinion, one of the best, if not the best camera for photographers in 2024 is actually very simple. It's the reason why this review was kind of short, honestly. It's because this camera has very few weaknesses, so few that I wasn't really able to identify any in this week of photography using this. And if you're someone who's looking to have a camera that does everything right, you want a tool that has no weaknesses, something that can work in every single situation that you put it in. Now, an example of a camera that does have a huge weakness is something like my Leica SL2. That camera is atrocious in low light. I avoid long exposure, avoid astrophotography, I avoid certain night photography situations because the images are really bad. Now, for me, I can work around that for the most part, but for someone who's looking to have a camera that does everything right, that is way too big of a weakness to invest your money into. With the Z8, you're investing your money into something that can last you five, six, seven, maybe 10 years for your photography and handle every single situation that you put it in. And that's why I have to say, this feels like a camera that would work for basically everyone out there, especially those of you who only have one camera at your disposal and you're looking to make the most out of it. It reminds me a lot of my Nikon D810, which I've talked about before, was the camera I used for the first five years of my career. And the reason I used it for so long is because it did all the things that this Z8 does. It just did everything right. It worked the way it was supposed to, and I wasn't constantly feeling the need to upgrade or try something different. It was solid, it handled every situation properly, and did photography the way it's supposed to do it. And I feel the exact same way with the Z8 as well. People are going to get a lot of use out of this camera, including me over the next couple years. Now, as for my favorite photo on the week, I have to give it to this Porsche photo right here. I love the way this looks. I'm so glad I was able to see it when I was out making pictures. I knew the lighting and the composition was perfect. The car was parked in the perfect spot and it did not disappoint after the edit. The colors on this look fantastic. And if you have my presets from mramp.com, you can replicate this edit with ramp preset 42, tone curve six, color boost six, colors eight, color grade 11, soften 1, and vignette 3. But to give this photo a rank out of 5, I'm going to rank it a 3.8 out of 5. Definitely my favorite on the trip. There were some other photos that I really enjoyed as well. I love that awning type beach photo where there's all those lines. Those came out great. I actually made a photo set for those for Evan Ram photo together. Really love those images. I think I would rank that as the second favorite from the trip. And I really enjoyed the challenge of shooting in this location and trying to make the most out of different compositions because overall, this was kind of more of a boring location. Other than the ocean, it was really up to me to be creative and find different images that I enjoyed and make them look good. So this was a lot of fun. The Z8 definitely delivered, and I'm excited to make that video for y'all going over the video capabilities. That will be out probably sometime next month. And also, big thank you to PPA for sponsoring today's video. Remember, you can go to that link in the description down below and get a special offer on a PPA membership. As for me, I'm going to get out of here, edit more of these photos, and I'll catch y'all in the next video.